During the crucial phases of a tournament, the very best golfers rise to the occasion and demonstrate their expertise. Golfers have made clutch putts so frequently that we have seen them gain the push they needed to win. Holding a long, decisive putt may seem mostly luck-based to some, but others may argue that it requires significant talent. Join us as we look at some of the most clutch putts in the history of golf. First of all, if there's one golfer you'd want to make the putt on the 18th hole at Bay Hill, it should all always be Tiger Woods. The tournament has now been won eight times by the 14-time major champion, which is no stranger to the greens. Woods has made thousands of key putts over the years, but this one at the 2008 US Open was possibly the biggest. Tiger had to make a putt for birdie from 24 feet away to win the tournament at Bay Hill, which would have been his sixth major championship win overall. At nine under par, he was tied with Bart Bryant. After shooting a final round 67, Bryant was sitting in the marker's hut, where he held the lead in the clubhouse. It wasn't hard at all. Tiger needed to make the putt in one shot to win, but he could miss it twice and still force a playoff. After he hit the putt, you simply had a feeling that it was going to fall. The ball was stuck at the ideal speed on the perfect line and it dropped on the very last roll of the dice. The way Bryant shook his head suggested that he wasn't surprised by anything at all. Tiger celebrated by hurling his headgear onto the ground and giving the audience a classic performance of the fist bump. What What's crazy is that he made this clutch play despite his horrible back pain. Next, Martin Kamer famously completed an incredible comeback for the Europeans, earning him the moniker Miracle at Medina. At one point in the 2012 Ryder Cup, Team Europe was trailing the Americans 10-4 and appeared headed for a crushing loss. Jose Maria Alizabal's team only needed two points from the final two Saturday four-ball games to give them a ray of hope. All eyes went to Kamer's matchup versus Steve Strickner, after the Europeans roared back. After speeding his birdie attempt past the last hole, the German needed to make a six-footer. Yes, the putt wasn't the longest, but when your team is depending on you, when your initial attempt was a little sloppy, and it's up to you to execute a great comeback, that's some great pressure. It was expected, since Kamer is a reliable player, that he would find the center of the cup. The putt set off emotions of relief and unbridled excitement in the European camp as host Jose Maria Elizabal and his squad dedicated their comeback to the late Sev Ballesteros. Moving on, the 2004 US Masters putt by Phil Mickelson stands out as his finest ever. Although Lefty's famed six iron shot from the pine straw in 2010 is one of the best iron shots ever hit at Augusta, the most significant putt of his career was made six years earlier. What if that 20 footer had stayed out? He was known for being the greatest player in the game, never to have won a major at the time. Of course, he now has five, and the putt on the last hole that allowed him to defeat Ernie Els for the title was what finally broke the chains. Prior to the final round, Mickelson shared the lead, but he struggled to turn 38. However, he made a comeback, making birdies on holes 12, 13, and 14, and then came the astounding birdie on hole 18, which was followed by a star jump. It really showed Mickelson's excitement at the time, knowing he was going to win his first title. This is another one from Tiger Woods, but it's still deserves a spot on this list. We know we're also breaking our rules by listing a putt that wasn't made at the business end of the golf tournament. However, the great American made a putt that was one in a million, and it's definitely worth a mention here. During the 2001 Players Championship, a three putt would have been more than respectable, but Tiger's vantage point on the renowned island green, in spite of the breaks and ridges, he managed to plan everything perfectly. Even just observing how Woods scrubs the green in that fashion, to find the line makes it worth watching. All in all, it was an amazing putt. Now, Constantino Roca now proved to everyone that persistence in fact does pay off. This is one of the most dramatic moments of the Open Championship. The Italian knew he needed a birdie to force a playoff when he stood on the tee during the 1995 Open Championship. It was that easy, and he managed to get the three. Most people would have forgotten how this one ended if he had done so with a simpler pitch and putt. But after duffling his pitch into the terrifying valley of sin, he dutifully rose to his feet and shot a tram liner from a height of about 65 feet. It was moving quickly and would have gone at least 10 feet had it missed, but let's not be too critical, at least it went inside. Roca fell to his knees in joy and possibly disbelief as well. Sadly, the happiness did not last long. At that point, Roca's good fortune
fortune ran out, as he finished the four-hole shootout three over par, handing Daly his second major victory. But the moment Rocco fell to the ground in utter joy after making that putt was pure gold, don't you think? Following up, it's quite amusing how Grammy McDowell saved Europe from America on home soil. Just a few months prior to the Ryder Cup in 2010, Grammy McDowell won his first ever major at the US Open at Pebble Beach. He entered the competition in good spirits. However, McDowell had no idea that he would also make the most important putt of his life at the tournament. The singles had to be played on Monday. Because the tournament had been postponed due to the rain, it was also the first time Wales was hosting the Ryder Cup. Europe had a 9.5 to 6.5 advantage heading into the last day and managed to prevent a scare when the USA rallied to tie the match at 13-13, with McDowell facing Hunter Mahan in the decisive match. Mahan was two behind with two holes remaining and needed to win the final two holes to secure the Ryder Cup for the USA. McDowell survived the storm and made the downhill putt that won the cup for Europe. Within seconds of him making the putt, a sea of European supporters surrounded the 17th green. It was a real moment of joy for the fans and the team. Moreover, when Jack McClaus birdied the 9th, 10th, and 11th holes of the 1986 US Masters, something spectacular was about to happen. Then, at the 13th, the noise level increased gradually. It was then followed by an eagle at the 15th hole. The 46-year-old was completely focused, and then came the magic moment. One of the most famous putts in golf history was the one McClaus made on the 17th green. It was a putt that put a smile on everyone's face. At some point, we've all tried our hardest to imitate it. McClaus won his 18th and last major with a par at the last hole. Although it is not the longest putt on this list, it continues to rank among the most memorable moments in the game's history. While we're at it, McClaus's putt from the 1975 Masters is also worthy of mentioning here. Three heavyweights, Jack McClaus, Johnny Miller, and Tom Weisskampf, squared off in the match. In the final round, Miller began three strokes behind McClaus and four off Weisskampf, the day while the former golf champion was one shot back. The three competitors swapped shots throughout the match, but when McClaus lined up a 40-foot putt on the 16th hole, everything changed. The golden bear leaped into the air with joy when the ball curled into the cup for a birdie. Miller and Weisskampf, who were in the group in front, observed Niklaus deliver the fatal hit from the 16th tee. He would eventually triumph by one stroke over his two competitors. Lastly, if you're an Australian, this Adam Scott putt is a where were you win type moment. The 2013 US Masters is recognized as one of the fascinating masters, and that's largely because of Angel Cabrera and Adam Scott's dramatic sudden death playoff. We all know Scott always had a lot of trouble using his flat stick. In 2013, the Australian finally succeeded at the major stage, and he can thank his putter for performing admirably when it mattered. Scott made a 25-footer on the 72nd hole. It tried to escape, but fortunately for his superb ball striker, it was unsuccessful and it rolled in the hole. At the second extra hole, Scott made a 15-footer to secure the green jacket, which wasn't bad either, but it was nothing compared to the 72nd hole one. Which one of these putts do you think was the most crucial one? Let us know in the comments. And if you enjoyed the video, don't forget to like it and also subscribe to our channel for more amazing content. Thanks for watching. See you in the next one.